Hi, I wanted to show you real quick how I get the look of chalk on my chalkboard subway art sign. I am just using regular acrylic paint, um, deco art white paint, and I'm putting some here onto my paint palette if you can see it. Uh, just put a glob there. But then I am taking water, adding it to my brush, picking up a glob of paint, put it into another container, more water, really watering that paint down. I'm going to wipe off my paintbrush real quick to get the excess off. But then I'm going to take that watered down paint onto my paintbrush. I'm going to go ahead and just paint in the lines that I made with my tracing paper. As you paint, the watered down paint reacts with the chalkboard paint underneath it. It will dry lighter, leaving areas where it is totally faded out to the black chalkboard behind it, which is the look we're going for here. Real chalk isn't completely white, and it's not completely opaque. Real chalk allows you to see the chalkboard behind it at times. So just keep painting your letters in until you're done, and as they dry, they'll fade. If you'd like some of them to be a little darker, you can always go back into them after they've dried and paint another layer of the white on top. I've done that on a few areas. I really wanted some of the areas to be darker than others. I wanted the variation to make it look more like chalk. But it's really, really simple to get this look. You don't need a cry cut or a silhouette to make your, make cool pieces of art, either for your home or to wear. Even to sell, yes, it would make things a lot quicker for you. I mean, even with the cry cut or the silhouette, you would have to sit here and uh, make sure all of the stencils were cut out and the insides removed correctly, blah, blah, blah. So either one is going to be quite a bit of work, especially to get something straight like the lettering on the subway sign. Um, but, you know, to me, anything worth having is worth putting a little work into. Um, and this is a really special sign for my family. And it's going to hang with pride in our living room. Like I said, I'm going to make a few of these subway signs for Christmas gifts. Um, on this subway sign, it is important places to Bruce and I and the kids. Um, and so it will hang in our living room. But you can also paint um, some with, uh, like for my parents, you know, where they met, where they got married, wherever their first date was. I mean, just different ideas or topics, where they went to college, their first home. You know, there's a lot of different options. Or you can always do um, favorite Bible verses, uh, such as Psalms. Oh, sorry. 314. Sorry, I was going along a straight line there, and I kind of lost track of my mind. Anything from, we all know I love Esther, anything from Esther. Look good on a sign. Proverbs. So many different choices of great Bible verses. Then you could put those verses on a subway sign. You know, I've seen house rules signs that would make a great subway art for anybody on your Christmas list. So lots of different things that you can design. 
Um, I did my wording on Pick Monkey, which made it pretty easy. And so let me know if you create your own chalkboard subway art. Would love, love, love to see it. And if you make mistakes, like I've got a few areas in here that I uh, made a mistake, like right in here in between the M and the I, I'm going to take my chalk paint back over it and um, make sure that it looks really clear and separated because right there, obviously, I got a little off track. And then here on the H, you can see I just didn't have the length that I had on the other letters. So I will go back and do some little reparations. Maybe even here between the A and the N, it needs a little uh, of the darker background paint brought back in to um, separate those letters out a little bit more. But anyways, that's how I do it. Easy, simple project to do but it creates a really stunning sign. And that was my last word. I'm all done now. Yay!